This video is not for kids. This may contain cussing, suggestive themes, and or triggering topics. Anything said in this video is alleged and not to be taken seriously. This video nor channel does not promote or encourage illegal activities. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, along with made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is as use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And warning again, the following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Josie Harris, ex-girlfriend of Floyd Mayweather, has reportedly died at the age of 40. On Monday night, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department responded to Harris's house in Valencia around 9.30 p.m. local time, where they found her unresponsive in her car. According to TMZ, Harris was pronounced dead at the scene, and police do not suspect any foul play. The case is being treated as an active death investigation, as confirmed with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Josie Harris shares three children with HBO 24-7 star Floyd Mayweather. Hello all, welcome to The Truth Show. In this truth-seeking request video, I will be talking about the death of Floyd Mayweather, ex-girlfriend slash baby mama, Josie Harris. Was this premeditated? Let's talk. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, yes. Josie Harris, the former girlfriend of Floyd and the mother of his children, but in order to understand the suspicion, you must know their history. You see, Floyd and Harris have been fighting for years. Not to mention his history of domestic abuse. It was back in 2002, whereas he was charged with two counts of domestic violence and one count of misdemeanor battery. He received a six month suspended sentence and two days of house arrest and was ordered to perform 48 hours of community service. Now, mm -hmm. then in 2010, moving ahead here, Josie filed a domestic report against him, but suspiciously she claimed she lied and the charges were dropped. But during this heated and violent streak with the loose cannon, it was reported that they fought constantly and it was becoming very controlling. Floyd is very controlling and he had taken Josie's cell phone. Even though Josie testified later that she had lied, the judge and the police department wasn't buying it, however, and they arrested him anyway. And he was charged with two felony coercion charges and one felony robbery charge and one misdemeanor domestic battery charge and three misdemeanor harassment charges that were also added oh yes oh i'm not done yet because a year later floyd was sentenced 90 days in jail for battery from the 2010 charge and also the threats against his children he reached an agreement and they ended up dropping the charges for the misdemeanor with the 90-day sentence, Floyd was ordered to complete 100 hours of community service, a 12-month domestic violence program, and to pay a fine of 2500 On June 1st, Floyd began serving his county jail sentence and was released on August 3rd, 2012. It was also reported that there have been six occasions, the worst coming in September of 2010 when, when Floyd entered Harris's home and she was asleep at this time, yanked her to the floor by her hair, then punched and kicked and screamed cuss words at her in front of their children. It was the couple's oldest son, Corian, who slipped out of the house to alert a security guard and to summon police. Oh yes, oh I'm still not done yet. Because in 2015 he was sued by Josie for $20 million for defamation of character, claiming that Floyd lied during an interview with Katie Couric. It seems during that interview he called her a drug abuser while discussing the 2010 domestic violence incident which ended up with Floyd going to jail for two months. Despite his history of domestic abuse with other women, it was one of seven alleged assaults Floyd has committed against five different women, you know, that resulted in him being arrested or issued a citation. His former fiance, Chantel Jackson, also filed a lawsuit claiming claims of battery, false imprisonment, and allegations that the fighter pointed a gun at her. 
Oh, I'm still not done yet. Because Joycey and Floyd have had a history of battles with their kids as well. And Floyd exposing them to his lavish lifestyle. She even sat down with DJ Flad and discussed moments where she had to fight some of Floyd's girlfriends too. She was also quoted saying, I was a battered woman. Harris said this, is what she said, I felt embarrassed about saying I was a battered woman. I felt shame. I felt like it was my fault. What did I do? I didn't understand what a battered woman was at the time. Now I know I was in a very dysfunctional, hostile relationship and a victim of domestic violence. It was even reported of her writing a book of her experience with Floyd. But this is back in 2014, so I'm not sure if the book has been released or done yet. I couldn't find it online, so if you have found it, just, you know, put it below, okay? Boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. has reportedly been found dead at her home in Stevenson Ranch. You're looking at a live picture. Sheriff's deputies responded to a home in this neighborhood around 10 o'clock last night and found a woman dead. The Sheriff's Department has not released the woman's name, but TMZ is identifying her as Josie Harris. Sources are telling the website there does not appear to be any signs of foul play. Harris dated Mayweather from 1995 to 2010 and is the mother of three of his children. The two had a stormy relationship. Mayweather, in fact, was convicted of attacking her in a 2010 domestic violence incident. Now, as far as I know, the case was not settled. And Josie and Floyd may have been going back and forth with this case for years. But I heard through the grapevine that they were close to settling and she was going to win. However, judging from Floyd's social media pages, he wasn't in the country when she was found dead. But speaking from an investigator point of view, that doesn't mean anything. I've read cases where as the killer, or should I say the orchestrated person behind a killing, always seals their alibis before the actual killing takes place. They never get their hands bloody. So just like someone tweeted you know a floyd so happened to be touring while this killing was taking place it's a bit suspect i may i may add not to mention the case she had against him it was almost as if he wasn't worried at all but hey you know what maybe he wasn't maybe she's on the verge of dropping the charges i can't find the record of the status of the charges or even if the charges even got filed initially she may have to said that but didn't actually go to court and file the suit we don't know but it is reported that the police is treating this like a homicide even though the blogs and news reporters are saying a death because of the high intensity of the case but let's be real here how can a woman whom far as I know was very healthy suddenly be found in her car while it was parked in her driveway what does someone do? Kill her somewhere else and then drive her back to her house and parked her car and ran away? <laughs> if I was the police, I'd be checking the nearby neighborhood, the porch cams, traffic cams, etc., and any witnesses. I will also check Floyd and Josie's phone history to see if there was some kind of suspicious communication between Floyd and Josie leading to her death. But I know they need probable cause to even have a warrant for his um, phone histories and texts and things of that nature he has to actually be a suspect and considering he was out of town legally they don't have the right to pull his uh you know phone histories and text messages and things of that nature but you know what this is the court system nowadays when have they ever been freaking fair but knowing the cops they will say she died of natural causes whatever cockamamie health excuse they can come up with just to quickly close the case and end the media attention and pressure floyd kids will be raised by floyd or relatives and that would be the end of his financial battle with him. He would do the same as Sean Combs, have this big elaborate funeral, crying, showing remorse, just sad and very well done. He would post heartfelt messages and so on. With that being said, my prayers are with the Harris family and her kids. They are going to be dealing with a lot right now. Oh, and I would also like to quote a message from Josie. And I hope many women can find this message helpful as well, regardless if you are a celebrity or not. This is what the late Josie Harris said about her abuse with Floyd and the abuse of Floyd's ex-wife as well. I would definitely want to just tell her to please educate yourself. This is what Harris said. What it is that is keeping her in that relationship? Make sure it's worth it 
because if they don't get the proper help together then the chance of it happening again is very high yes always get help call the number on the screen well that's it tell me your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications for when i do post a new video love you all bye okay i have to stop for just one second i want you all to know that it doesn't stop here i have a lot of neat things going on did you all know i have three other channels one being my sister's channel oh yes i have the truth show as you all should know keisha's gossip and truth the truth show deluxe my sister's top t and five or six and that's not all you can visit my website at thetruthshow.co this website gives you inside information and more or become a patron for only two dollars or sign up for my youtube membership for a dollar more and get access to that and more oh i'm not done yet i have a blog so you can read all of my latest and popular scripts in detail Oh, I'm still not done yet. If you like my videos and you want me to make you one, whatever it may be, well, visit Freezing Moments in Time website and submit your request and we can talk, honey. Everything is below. And now let's